Hello everyone, this is Hey Rotmania. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest VII, Fragments of the Forgotten Past, the 3DS edition. Previously, the party found more red fragments and made their way to Emberdale. A real eruption? When they arrived, they had a vision of the nearby volcano blowing its top. That would not bode well for this little community. Now let's explore the village. Emberdale. This little village would be wiped off the map if that volcano erupted. This place looks pretty down-to-earth. In fact, they seem to have built their houses out of the stuff. What's up, kiddo? Round the back of the priest's place, that's what she said. By gum, it's here. It's really here. Me treasure's here. Old Pamela really knows her stuff. Her predictions are always right on the money. If there's aught you want to know, Alt at all, you should go and ask her. She's the bee's knees. Fortune telling is absolute nonsense as far as I'm concerned. After all, no one tells me what I'm going to do next. Isn't that right? A pot? With some magic water. Very nice. Restore some MP. Nothing there. Hold up, you're tourists, aren't you? Why don't you stop a minute and tell me a tale or two about your travels? See, I've heard the world's a choicey old place, right massive, and full of fun things and interesting sights. Tasty grub, treasure, you name it, but I bet it's not all rosy, eh? You've probably seen some proper hair-raising stuff in your time, am I right? You'd be quite right. I knew it. Hey, but I can't help wanting to go and have a look for myself. I'd be happy as a pig in muck if I could only see a new place or two and meet some fresh faces for once. The only reason I don't head off right now is me mom. I can't up and leave her, not with her being badly and all. Anyway, I've no time to stand around feeling sorry for myself. I need to go and fetch another prescription from Pamela. Stop boasting, Davalos. You'll give him ideas. <laughs> it's only natural for youngsters to want to see the world. My lad, though, he's different. See, I asked Pamela, she's the village fortune teller, about him. What she told me were right flaysome. She said that if he ever went off traveling, he'd never make it back to the village. Ever since then, I've stayed home and pretended to be badly. That way, he won't dare leave me. Cough, splutter. She really should stop worrying about her son. I'm sure he's old enough to look after himself. You know what the key is to good cooking? It's all in the flame control. Overdo it just a tiny bit, and you'll turn a masterpiece into a right mess. I never do that, of course. I've got the father of the flame on my side. Me cuisines always cook to perfection. Six gold. 
cough splutter. Rats, it's burnt to a bleeding crisp. Huh. Ashes for tea again tonight, then. Looks like I'll be after old Pamela for some stomach medicine in the morning. She's not the best cook, I take it. Ho ho ho! Another year, another festival. Even at my age, it's hard not to feel dead chirpy when this time of year comes around. Another pot. Ten gold. The Flaming Flagon Arms Bed and Board. Hello. Not right now, sir. Nothing there. Good day to you. Hey, Bagum. Tourists, I take it. You don't get many of your lot to the pound up here. This is Emberdale. There's not much to it, but I hope you have a nice stay nonetheless. And who knows, you might get to see somewhat spectacular. It sounds as though they're expecting something big to happen, Davalos. You don't think? No, surely not. I wonder what this something spectacular could be. Some kind of festival, maybe? What's that you're asking? What's this big flame in aid of? Hey, what sort of daft question is that? Here in Emberdale, we worship the Father of the Flame, you see. Fire is a huge part of our lives. Did you know there's a great big volcano off to the north of the village? Yep. I, Burnmon, it's called, and it's right sacred to folk around these parts. It gets proper nippy up here, you see. If it weren't for Burnmont, we'd all freeze to death. A great big volcano called Burnmont? Is that the one that's going to go bang? So that's what a volcano looks like, eh? I've read about them in some of the old books in the castle library, but I've never seen one with my own eyes before. Whoa! The Father of the Flame is in fine fettle again today, by the sound of it. What's that? Am I not scared of earthquakes? Don't be daft. A good shake lets us know the old feller's still with us. Besides, Emberdale houses are right sturdy. A bit of a wobble isn't going to bring this lot down in a hurry. I don't mind being shaken about on a boat or on a cart. But when the ground itself starts shaking, well, that's a different matter. Am I afraid of earthquakes? Ha! Huh. Bring them on, I say. The bigger, the better. What's the matter, Maribel? You've gone all white. Sh shut up! I'm fine! Absolutely fine! It's okay, Maribel. Anything in this well? I guess not. Trading Post, open all hours. Medicine and Fortune Telling by Palmola. Eh, hey, Pamela's started shelping away to herself again. I don't know what's up with her lately. Oh, customers. Here to see Pamela, I suppose. Grab yourself one of her trademark tonics. Maybe get your fortune told. Sure. Well, you'll not be getting either for a while, whether you want it or not. The old girl's neither in use nor ornament in the state she's in. The local shop. We'll want that whip.
Mumble, mutter. Mumble. Aye, I can see it, mutter. It's right faint, but it's there all right. Boy, what's the big idea? Who do you think you are, interrupting me mid protection? What's that daft lass playing at? I told her not to let anyone back here. She needs her lug holes clearing out, that one. I right near saw Summit, then. Now I've got to start all over again. I've no idea who you are, but luckily, I don't care, either. Now clear off and stop bothering me, mutter mumble. Fortune tellers are always such oddballs. We'll get no sense out of this one, Davalos. Mark my words. Crikey, it looks like we really got her back up. Let's get out of here, eh, Davalos? Might be a good idea. There's no use in trying to get Pamela to do alt for a while, you know. The gaffer lives in that big house over yonder. Being as you're not from these parts, you might want to go and say hello just to be polite-like. Ah, there's not quite so calming as the sight of a flame fluttering in the breeze. I heard that in other kingdoms, they use fire to make weapons and wage war. Hey, I can't help but think they've got it all wrong. Fire's a source of life. All sorts of things rise from the ashes, you know. I want to live like a flame, hot and bright and full of energy. I'm going to give life all I've got, and nobody's going to stop me. Antidotal herb. Now, let's check in here. Another antidotal herb. Tourists say, we don't get many of your sort round these parts. Go and see the gaffer, will you? He'll be right chuffed that someone's come to visit. Hey, up. Thanks for coming all the way out here to see us. It means a lot, you know. Especially since the festival's about to get started. It's been a right hold while since we had any visitors join in. Hmm? What festival, you say? Don't tell me you don't know about the Flaming Festival. Hey, by gum. It's only the biggest event of the year here in Amberdale. The main event's exciting enough, but the grand finale? Ooh, it'll knock your socks off. We take the flames up the mountain for what we call the Return of Fire Ritual, you see. Hey, I'm getting all worked up just thinking about it. You should be there, too. You'll never forget your first time. Is this really the time to be holding a festival? The Flaming Festival, eh? Sounds like fun. Ah, uh, a pointy hat. Marginally better headgear. Hello there. Hey, up. Look, you can see the mountain where the Father of the Flame lives from up here. Hey, its champion is that. Do you want to take a gander? Well, sure. Hey, well, you're not allowed. This view's all mine. Be that way. Ugh, this is why I despise children. Hello there. How do? You're tourists, aren't you? Well, welcome to Emberdale. I'm... a...
By gum, I've lost count of how many wobbles we've had today. I suppose this means it's nearly time. Crikey, what's got into you? You've got a right face on. Is there someone you want to tell me? Yes, we do. What's that? You had a vision, and the volcano's going to erupt? Ho ho ho! Don't be daft! We've done naught to provoke the wrath of the Father of the Flame. And it's not like he's going to use fire, of all things, to attack his own fire-worshipping folk down here in Emberdale. Especially not when we're just about to hold the Flaming Festival in his honor. You're probably just not used to seeing volcanoes up close, eh? Put the wind up you a bit, has it? Hey, it's understandable, but I'm telling you, you've not to worry about. See? These rumbles are how the Father of the Flame lets us know that festival time's getting near. I reckon all this traveling you've been doing must be getting to you. Why don't you rest up over at the inn until it's time for the fun to start? You'll soon see you've been fretting over naught. Humph! We go out of our way to warn him about the volcano, and he laughs in our faces. There's no helping some people. Looks like the old fellow isn't just going to take our word for it. Well, I don't suppose there's any point trying to convince him. We're going to have to come up with another plan of attack. Nothing of interest. There's a book entitled, The Analects of Confucius. There is no shame in hiding behind one's shield, for this is what a shield is for. But do not hide your shame behind your shield. That is not what it is for. Anything out this way? A nice balcony. He didn't seem too interested in hearing what we had to say, did he? Still, I suppose that little scene we saw didn't look much like a festival, so we're probably safe for the moment. Let's go undressed up at the inn and see what happens, shall we? Before we do that, let's go grind up some gold. I want that whip. That gaffer was so annoying. When somebody tells you your village is going to get wiped out, you should at least give them a fair hearing. I suppose all we can do now is rent a room at the inn and wait for the festival to start. It's not like I was expecting him to believe every word we said, but still... Ah oh well, there's no point getting upset about it. Let's go back to the inn and put our feet up for a bit. All this traipsing around's really taken it out of me. The day before the festival. Davalos and friends arrive in Emberdale, a village of people who worship someone called the Father of the Flame. Since none of them can forget the vision they had when they first arrived, they decide to seek out the village chief and see if he can give them an explanation. The gaffer hears what the party have to say, but does little more than laugh it off. He thinks they must have just been spooked by the sight of a volcano. In light of the party's obvious anxiety, however, he invites them to spend the night in the village and to observe the festival that is taking place tomorrow. We need 770 gold for the whip. Oh boy.
She definitely needs an upgrade. Goodbye, Shabby Cat. Tung Fu Fighters! Tung Fu Foiled! Shoppy Hoppers? So long, Choppy Hoppers. Pretty Bird. King Fushas. Farewell, foes. And Kiefer reaches level 8. Congrats, Kiefer. Level 8. Got enough gold now. So let's go get that whip for Maribel. Good day, sir. One whip, please. A thorn whip. Here you go, Maribel. Thank you, sir. Now time to go rest up. Hello. Eh? We don't get many tourists from these parts, anyway. One idol set you back fifteen gold coins. Will you be staying with us? Certainly. Ta very much. Have yourselves a good kip now. Morning. There's a right commotion going on outside, you know. They can't be announcing the start of the Flaming Festival just yet. I wonder what it's all about. Humph. I'm fully aware of the commotion outside, thank you very much. It was the noise which woke me up. What in blazes is going on out there? Come on, Davalos. Let's go and have a look-see. So, some kind of commotion. 
What's all this racket so early in the morning, eh? Don't these beggars know I need me beauty sleep? Yawn! My poor ears! It's far too early for all this shouting. Can you go and tell them to put a sock in it, Davalos? Hmm? It seems they're arguing about something. Old Pomelo's looking right flaysome today. Gulp. What the heck's got into Pomelon now? Honestly. I thought she was just making an early start on her fortune-telling, but when I looked in the back, she were gone. So old Pomelo just up and disappeared from her shop, did she? Maybe she saw something scary in her crystal ball. Hey, sounds like the old girl's finally gone soft in the head. Get this, I came out to see what all the fuss were about, and the baddie old mare's trying to tell everyone Vermont's gonna blow. She's mad! Pomola thinks the volcano's going to erupt, but that's the same vision we had. It doesn't make sense. Why would the Father of the Flame want us to suffer? I mean, we're his followers, his loyal servants. I don't care what old Pomola says. I refuse to believe a word of it. Hmm? It seems they're arguing about something. No, you're wrong, Pomola, and you know it. Who ever heard of flames destroying aught? It's nonsense. I doubt it. What you're saying is impossible, plain and simple. Burnmont's going to... Really? Is it even possible? Wait a sec. If Burnmont really does blow its top, what'll become of Emberdale? We'd all die, wouldn't we? Well, I don't want that to happen. No, it can't happen. I... I refuse to believe it. There, I feel much better now. Huh. I'm sure that helps. What's she saying? I can't hear her. Somewhat about Burnmont, is it? Heh <laughs> heh. These flames aren't looking half bad today, which means it's going to be a good one. At least it will be, once all the kerfuffles died down. What's going on over there? Hmm? <gasps> What's going on? What's everyone shopping about? What's up, Pomola? Everyone, please, you've got to listen to me. I've had a vision. A great tower of flame rising up from Burnmont. The whole island swallowed up in rivers of molten lava. I'm telling you, when the return of fire ritual is over, it'll be the end for Emberdale. We can't go through with the festival. We mustn't. Rumble, rumble. That tremor, then. You all felt that, didn't you? Well, that means... We know what it means, Pomola. It means the Father of the Flames watching over us. Aye, that's right. That wobble were a sign for us to start the festival, so we should get cracking. Aye, we should. The Father of the Flame will never forgive us if we don't go through with it, like always. So it's like that, is it? You're telling me you don't believe in me prophecies after all these years? That's not what I'm saying. Shut up. I weren't asking you. Sorry, Pamela, but I just don't believe a word of it. There's no way Burnmont's going to blow. She's right. Are you sure you've not lost the gift, love? Why have all the hurtful, ungrateful, barefaced... Rumble mutter. Now then, what's all this commotion in an aid of? It's Pamela. She says she's had a vision, and that Burnmont's going to blow, and the whole island's going to be drowned in lava. 
What? A Volva! Right, listen up, you lot. The first thing we need to do is calm down. There's no need to make a fuss about this. That goes for you tourists, too. Stop looking so worried. Palmola, you come with me. We need to have words about this vision of yours. We'll talk at my place. You tourists can come t along, too, if you like. It might set your minds at ease. As for the rest of you, home. Now! That's not a bad idea, that. Yeah, let's all get back to bed and grab 40 more winks, shall we? The villagers of Emberdale appear to be largely unconcerned by the apocalyptic prediction made by one of their number, and soon go back about their business. The fortune teller had exactly the same vision as us. It can't be just a coincidence. Come on, Davalos. Let's go and have another little chat with the gaffer. Maybe we can convince him to change his mind. Maybe not. Pomelo's prediction. The party spends the night in Emberdale. When they wake up the next morning, a major commotion is underway out in the village square. It seems the local fortune teller, Pomelo, has made a very inauspicious prediction. She is busy urging the villagers to listen to her, lest all of Emberdale be destroyed when Burnmont erupts. She's convinced that when the return of fire ritual brings the flaming festival to an end, it will also spell the end for the village itself. Having whipped the crowd into a frenzy, Pomela and the gaffer retreat to his residence to discuss matters further. Could her prediction really come true? Seems old Pomela made a prediction the villagers didn't much like the sound of. What she says is usually spot on, but it's best not to get the locals panicked if it can be helped. Pomela and the gaffer are having a right ding-dong in the upstairs room. I dread to think what they're arguing about. Why did you have to say all that in front of everyone, Pomela? You know how they panic. I was just doing a job. Passing on messages from the realm of the supernatural is what a fortune teller is supposed to do. Fortune teller? I thought you were supposed to be a medicine woman. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. I just wish you'd come to me before scaring everyone like that. What does it matter who I speak to first? You know me visions are never wrong. We have to do something. But cancelling the Flaming Festival, after all the work we've put in? Well, there's no way you can go ahead with it, and cancelling it's only the first step. Look, we're not cancelling it, and that's the end of it. It'll just make the Father of the Flame even angrier, and there's not folk are more flayed of than that. We're holding the festival tonight, and you'll just have to lump it. That big tremor we had, just now, were the sign that the time's right. Who knows, if we get our skates on, maybe the Father of the Flame will forgive us for all this fretting and faffing around. Oh boy. Listen up, everyone. The time for the Flaming Festival has come. It's happening tonight. That's right. The festival is happening, and it's going to be a stupendous eyebrow singeing spectacular. Eyebrow singeing is right. Strong in the arm, thick in the head, that's our gaffer. I tell him to cancel the festival, and he brings the chuffing thing forward. Hold on, you said you were tourists, didn't you? Then maybe you can do something to help. 
Let me see. Yes, that might just work, you know. I reckon you've got what it takes. You lot come and see me in a bit. I'll be in the back of the trading post waiting for you. Please, you're the only ones who can save Emberdale. Very well, Pamela. I don't usually trust fortune tellers, but I'm willing to make an exception for this one. If what old Pamela says is true, we might not have long till Burnmont blows its top. Listen, I'm sorry about all that. Sometimes it's best to take no notice of what Pamela says. Any road, the festival is happening tonight. Visions or no visions. I hope you're still planning on coming along. It'll be nice for you to get to know everybody. Oh, and wipe that worried look off your face, will you? There's naught to worry about, I'm telling you. Even if the Father of the Flame really is narked, the festival is bound to calm him down. It's what it's for. So I'll say it again. Everything's going to be fine. Ignore what the old girl says. If I've told her once, I've told her a thousand times. No gold will come of trying to predict the future. She needs to focus on her medicine-making and forget these visions of hers. What do you think, Tavalos? Should they really be going ahead with this festival? I don't think so. That's what I thought. We've got to do something before it's too late. You think it'll be fine? I'm not so sure myself. Of course it'll be fine. We're here. Now let's find old Pamela. First we hear that Vermont's going to blow its top, and now the gaffer says the festival's happening tonight. I don't know whether I'm coming or going, to be honest. Hey up! I'm Thora, Pomelo's favorite apprentice. I suppose you must be them tourists she were on about. Pleasure to meet you. Hey there, Thora. Ah, you came after all. Now then, I suppose you'd better tell me your names before we get started. You already know mine, of course. Davalos introduces himself to Pomela. I'm Kiefer. Prince Kiefer of Estrar, to be precise. I'm Maribel. Very nice to meet you. Humph. Right, Davalos. Let's get down to brass tacks. You believe that little premonition I had were true, don't you? Yes, I do. Not that it matters, of course. It's for a real vision of the future, whether you believe me or not. But it's only one possible future. It doesn't have to come true, and we can make sure it doesn't. Which is where you come in. I need you to change Emberdale's future, and I know you've the power in you to do so. So, what do you say? Are you game? I'll be honest, I've no one else to ask. Yep, I'm game. That's the spirit. Now I'm not so loopy as to think the Father of the Flame would go and make Burnmont erupt. Don't worry. No, there's someone else fishy going on up there. I'm doing me best to look into it, but I can't do it alone, or from down here, either. Trouble is, the only time we can get up there for a closer look is when the festival's on. Even the gaffer's not allowed up there the rest of the time. So what that means is, we're going to have to wait till the festival gets started. It's taking place tonight, in case you hadn't heard, so you've got a few hours to get ready. If I were you, I'd get some kip and prepare for what's coming. I'm sure the old fella at the inn's got festival fever, same as all the other folk round here. He'll probably let you stay for free if you ask nicely. Go on, then. Off you pop. Thank you, Pamela. It's a volcano, and it's called Burnmont. I get the impression it's going to be quite hot in there. All right. It's time to save this place from its fiery fate. Right, Davalos? Right, indeed. The Geffers and a Grump. 
The Gaffer is angry with Pamela for spreading fear and panic among the locals by claiming that the village is in danger of being destroyed. He refuses to listen to any of her protestations and announces to the villagers that the flaming festival is to be brought forward to that very evening. After realizing that Davalos and his friends heard the entire exchange with the Gaffer, Pamela takes a closer look at the party and notices something about them. It seems she thinks they might be able to save Emberdale, and she invites them back to her shop to talk more. To Emberdale's aid. In the back room of her shop, Pomelo tells the party that she needs them to save the village. Naturally, our heroes cannot refuse, and Pomelo is delighted. She tells a tale of strange things going on inside Burnmont, the nearby volcano. But they won't be able to investigate further until the festival gets underway, and the friends retire to the local inn, dressed up for the adventure ahead. We'll have to wait for the festival to get started before we can make our way up Burnmont. It's taking place tonight, in case you hadn't heard, so you've got a few hours to get ready. If I were you, I'd get some kip and prepare for what's coming. I'm sure the old fella at the inn's got festival fever, same as all the other folk round here. He'll probably let you stay for free if you ask nicely. Go on, then. Off you pop. Very well. And before we stay at the inn, we'll save. Next time we'll go to the inn and start the festival. This is Heyrotlinia. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.